Mr. Shaman, here we come. Welcome to the first episode of a complete amateur's guide to everything Blizzard. Video series where I know kind of what I'm doing, but not really. Rest of shamans have gotten a little bit of a rework due to the pre-patch. So let's see what's going on. Something real quick. I really wish I could sim healing and tanks, but you can only sim the freaking DPS. So yes, I usually get my uh, healing and tank pawn strings from Noxic, which may not be the best place, but I mean, it is what it is. At least it gives me an approximation. And uh, when, whenever you do pawn strings, whether you generate your own or you get them from another site, you know, and it gives you the, the upgrades here. Uh, first off, uh, pawn, if you don't have it, it's amazing. You should have it. You want to switch to manual, not automatic, and uh, put in your own strings. You don't want to use the built-in ones because they're crap. Um, but also remember, that, I mean, they're just, they're, they're more of a guideline. Um, there's, there's been times where it tells me, you know, something that's 30 item levels down is an upgrade or 20 item levels down. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll stay with a higher item level because I think it's better. So take everything with a grain of salt. Okay, so that's all set. Uh, rings are technically enchanted. Here, look at the weights. Crit and versatility. Fucking damn near equal, so we'll just leave those crit enchants on there. Versatility. 
ability is oh shoot. Not an engineer on this tune. Darn it. You always want to make sure everything's gemmed and socketed and enchanted and all that good stuff. You also want to make sure you have all your top of the line essences, which I do not. I need more echoes. If you don't know, you can get essences through a variety of ways, and you have to get the different ranks and whatnot. I suggest Googling if you're really interested. Um, but once you have them on one tune, you can buy them uh, on your alts, which is kind of nice. I need about a thousand more echoes. Deal for you. I bet you do. What do I want? Versatility. I got a new shipment coming in. Oh my god, everything seems so freaking small now with after the pre patch. need to change up any weak auras. Oh no, we need to add one for Earth Shield. Give myself my focus. Combat. My talents reset? Yes. Alright. So, again, um, for talents and things like that, I like to use Icy Veins. Uh, I have a side monitor uh, that you're not seeing right now, so that's fine. So usually, like I said, uh, same with Pawn. Uh, when I go to Icy Veins, I look up you know, their spec and everything, and I read what they have to say about it. But at the same time, I take into consideration my own play, play style and what I prefer. How full of dung I think they are. Let's see. Uh, I'd release your Unleashed Life. I don't like Unleashed Life. It, it's another thing you have to manage, Unleashed Life. I mean, I mean, it's good. It's powerful. But it's yet another button you got to press. Although... I guess technically I have an open button. Uh, let's see what they have to say. Undulation's performance depends on how much of your total throughput consists of healing wave healing surge casts. If these two spells are your main healing sources, then this tone is a great pickup on the tier. Otherwise, you should probably take a different talent. Okay, unleash life boost to your next direct heal. This should usually be used on chain heal, as you can reliably increase chain heal output by 35%. You should instead use it on Riptide. If the buff chain heal would cause heavy overheal, you should instead use it on Healing Surge or Riptide. Dang it. Torrent is a fine choice for all situations as it gives your Riptide a little more direct healing. It can be helpful for quick. Not as powerful as the other two. No! Fine. Dang it. And. Oh, I have my drinks in two places. Oh, that's good. I was gonna say I'm gonna need something for uh, ice shield. Do I need anything else? Is there anything else now? Water shield. They brought back water shield too. Oh, that's gonna have to go there. 
here, I'm just gonna have to manually type focus. I don't really want to put it in place of the, po of the potion of replenishment because I need those. I like having a quick focus button. I just need more buttons. That's all there is to it. This pre patch. I almost have too many abilities on all the tunes now. It's getting difficult. I've had to macro a lot of stuff together. Let's see here. Yeah, so I'm just staring at my bars, trying to think if there's anywhere I can put this. If there's anything I don't need on there, but I need all of it. I'm just going to have to type slash focus. And now I have water shield that i got to keep up. I have a weak aura for that, though. I just have to implement it for this guy. All right. Echo of the Elements is now the best. What was I using? charges. No, that's what I was using. I was using Echo before. Okay. I don't need to read about that. Uh, yep, I was using Spirit Wolf. Earthen Wall... Uh, you, no, I don't want... Uh, that's going to be another button, isn't it? For each attack against allies within 10 yards, the token is redirected to the... Oh. Oh, no, but that... Oh, they took away my protection totem? I don't know why. Ancestral Vigor is the most flexible and least impactful. <laughs> Great. Target shield with healing wave, healing surgery, and healing root types. Initial heal gain. 10% increased health for 10 seconds. Oh yeah, that's what I was using. Uh, ancestral protection totem is the best choice whenever you plan to intentionally have one ally die to bypass encounter mechanics. Just be mindful of the 200% maximum health killing blow limit. Should also be picked whenever your group is consistently struggling to keep everyone alive through a short specific part of the encounter. So basically take it if you're a scrub. Do it! Or super pro. I think Walton is good for reducing since it only absorbs a small fixed amount of each individual, it is not recommended to use against enemies that deal slow, powerful attacks, but it's great in almost all other situations. Okay. Is there a good place for this? That feels a little awkward. That is my heal on my troll. That is my feign death on my hunter. I'm not using Bloodlust very often, since it's such a large cooldown and debuff. Because it's still 10 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah, it's still 10 minute debuff. Move Bloodlust over there and put that there. Oh, I can... oh it's a place? Within 10 yards of the totem is redirected to the totem. Oh, that's cool. It's got kind of like a earthy ring graphic. Okay. Huh. Interesting. All right. Um. Next. Graceful spirit. 
No, the dude was using Windrush Totem the other day. I've never actually used it. It was actually kind of nice. Five seconds is longer than you'd think. <sighs> yeah. Well, Spirit Walker's Grace by 60 seconds. Increase your movement speed by 20% while it is active. Huh. 60 seconds. Yeah, that's cool. We'll give it a shot. I just have to remember to use it. Uh, Cloudburst Totem. Ah, uh, shit! Really? Damn it, game. What are you doing to me? I'm consumed time away with gas. The next heal is reduced by 20%. Isn't that... I think that's what I was using. Downpour. Support of the target Wait, what? Okay, Flash Flood significantly increases your average casting speed as long as you are spending your tidal waves. I usually do. This is beneficial for both single target and group healing, but it requires you to spend more mana to achieve the same group healing benefits as the other two talents, making it a poor choice. Downpour does very strong stack group burst healing. But due to its high cooldown, has been outscaled by Cloudburst Totem. Five second cooldown is a high cooldown. Oh, cooldown increased by five seconds for each target effectively healed. Ouch. Still kind of like it. I kind of just want to see it. Oh, that's cool. Huh. I used to use Cloudburst. Cloudburst power depends exclusively on your ability to grow its stored healing with your other spells, items, and as right trade. Direct healing does not count towards the stored healing. Although Azrite trades that boost your baseline spells and uh, items and Azrite trait direct healing does not count. Okay, but yours does. Uh, since it splits the stored healing evenly among her allies when destroyed, you want to try and destroy it manually ahead of the 15 second limit. When not doing so, will result in a heavy overhealing due to replacing healing stream totem. Wait. It replaces healing stream? Oh. Oh, I don't know about that. I like healing stream totem. Just replacing healing stream. Echo of the elements causes you to have two charges of Cloudburst totem. Ha! <laughs> Which could be used, for example, to ensure heavy wellspring cast contributes to Cloudburst totem. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to use it officially because I'm a noob. So, but I have it. I just need to change that weak aura. And last but not least, High Tide is the most flexible in this row, allowing you to bank powerful chain heal cast. And, uh, or simply, it performs well in most situations and exceptionally short fights. You can take reckless. You can be reckless with your mana pool. I think that's what I was using. Every 4,000 race brings a High Tide. Making your next two chain heals heal for initial 10%, and not reduced with each jump. That's really nice. And yeah, that's what I was using. Wellspring allows for widespread group healing. Limitation restoration often struggles with. Really? I don't find that. I mean, between... Um, shoot. Between healing rain, chain heal... I feel, and now Cloudburst Totem was healing stream totem. I feel we've got a lot of AoE healing. A lot. I mean, look at Holy Paladins. Yeah, they got the Shimmer with the Holy Shock thing, but they gotta build that shit up. Also, I mean, besides that, all they have is their Cone Heal thing that I can't remember at the moment. Anyways, uh, with the Trilla... Oh, no. Yeah. 
relatively low. 20 second cooldown while sprint works best. The counter's damage pattern allows you to cast it on cooldown without heavy overhealing. Why are they so worried about overhealing to now? I guess overhealing per mana is bothering them. As replacing chain heal cast with wellsprings is an efficient way to extend your mana pool. Longer fights favor this talent, but it does require a specific damage pattern. So no. Because I'd rather use chain heal and we're doing short fights because we're doing mythics. Healing for the targets in the white arc in front of you. <laughs> it's the holy paladin thing. And then ascendance. Since duplicated healing is only spread into injured allies, which means you can use it to rapidly heal a single target when needed, or as a group healing cooldown. When <coughs> Hold on. Um, or as a group healing cooldown when combined with your other group heals. While ascendance is very powerful while active, its overall uptime is very low, making it unreliable in many situations. So high tide. So we go back to high tide. <coughs> yeah, I like High Tide. Alright, so that's our setup. Uh, let's work on some Gora's. So, uh, first off, where's the mage? And we're going to put them here. I'm going to change their load for Restoration Shamans. And because we're anal retentive, it's watery. Oh, it's an hour? <laughs> I guess I can take the timer off. I'm used to the other shields, which only last for like 30 seconds or a minute. So I know how much longer I have on them. Uh, but yeah, I guess we can just take the timer off, because that's ridiculous. Plus, we're going to have a focus target there anyways. So we can just delete this. So now... As people hit it and it wears off, I'll just know and I'll be like, oh, put it back on. Okay, and actually I can do the same for... No, I don't want to do the same. I can't do it for my target. Earth Shield's going to be on the tank, most likely. Um, shoot, I actually need to... So, Shield increase your healing. Your shield can only be placed in one target at a time. Only one elemental shield can be active on the shaman at a time. So, how do I track that? Oh, my focus target. So, okay. So, shaman or a texture load. Not in combat. 
sequestration. Uh, trigger aura focus. have the totem? Yeah, I think the totem's the only part that's restoration. What the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> I need to fill in the background. That's funny. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, I need to duplicate those. Yes, I, I, I know it seems anal retentive, and I said it was, um, but also it, it helps to label them, because if you get lazy and just like, oh, I'll do it later, or I can just keep that name, I don't care, then later on, when a week or it breaks, or you need to add or change something, and you come back, and you're like, I don't, wait, what? And you got to go through the settings and try to see what that's all about. So it really does help to label them. As you can see, I do just... Quick names too. It's nothing crazy. Uh, but those three need to trigger off of. Cloudburst oh, totem. Um, also, I, I like scanning over the uh, whatever spell I'm doing to get the appropriate name. Because the spelling, spacing, like Cloudburst is one word, so on and so forth, sometimes you're you type in something and it doesn't work and you're like what and you go down there it's like oh it's got a space or a dash or a weird thing so always make sure you get that uh, so I am my focus again yep two cloud burst totems Oh, and it automatically does the destroy for me on each of them. Okay, that's cool. Um, yep, that's... I haven't done that. That's cool. Okay. Jesus. I get it. I have instant lava bursts. Lots of them. It's crazy. Okay, so with Earth Shield, though. What should I do? What should I do? It's always going to be on my focus target. My focus target's always here. Should I put something there? Or do it's going to look down too far. Move the totem. Yeah, let's do that. Totems down. I moved the. Gosh, 
darn it. Wait a minute. Is there a problem right now? It took into it. Did I not need to do okay? First of all, there's four. I didn't I forgot the how many there were. Make that negative two ten. enough. Okay, they're too tough. Perfect. Alright, so I move those down so I can have Earth Shield. Oh, I know what I can do. Perfect. Um, PvP emblems. This, uh, this graphic that I'm about to use is a favorite of mine. I love this thing beautiful works for so many different things it's simple The layers here um, depend, if you have multiple graphics on top of or below one another, this is what determines that. You can have the graphic behind it, the graphic above it, you know, if you have numbers, multiple layers, things like that. Um, it also determines it here, the, the order that they're listed. Um, I, found it, I find it easier to use these um, to deal with the layers than trying to, you know, move them up, down, organize them here, even though I try to organize them over here as well. Like I said, I'm a little retentive about things. All right, uh, so that's medium. Uh, color for Earth Shield. Full transparency. Green with a hint of yellow. Duplicate that. Yes, that's fine on the name. Shapes, this one, and we'll put it low so it's behind it. <coughs> and we'll change this to 55 by 55 because it's different size dimensions. Yeah, that looks about right. And we will make the color. Dish. So it looks like Earth Shield. Um, I do this a lot. I'll make my weak aura the color and whatnot of the spell, sometimes trying to make it look like the spell. Um, you can use the actual buttons if you'd like, if that's easier for you. I like doing graphical design a little bit. I like being creative and whatnot. Is that big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. 
Um, but uh, I mean, to each their own. If you just want to use the buttons, you can. Um, there's a lot of tutorials and stuff about weak auras and much easier setups that look a lot cleaner and just present the information that you want. Um, there's also Tell Me When, which is another program uh, and whatnot. Like I said, I like doing my own personalized little things and whatnot. That being said, I find sometimes if I make them all the color of the spells, sometimes my screen ends up looking like a like clown shoes. You know, there's colors all over the place, and so sometimes uh, on classes like the Hunter or the Warlock, I'll uh, I'll make everything uniformed. I'll make everything the same color, regardless of what the spell icon is. Uh, like my Warlock, everything is uh, black and green. It just is. So it's up to you. Anyways, um, so that's taken care of this and convert it to text and we want how many stacks and we want the text color to be white maybe we'll see how that looks and I think we're using bazooka on all of this And I found the numbers usually you don't want them uh, zero. You want them just one offset. Just I don't know for some reason the the way they yeah. So uh, let's check that out. There you go. Oh shoot. That's why that looks weird. Um, this needs to be high, so it's on top. There you go. There we know how many Earth Shield charges we have. We don't have it at all. Oh no. Um, I was thinking about making the Earth Shield always cast the focus target, but no, because I might want to move it around. But if I move it around, I won't be able to keep track of the charges. <sighs> we'll make it at the focus. No, I can do it manually. We know we have two cloudburst tones. We know we have nine charges on the shield on whoever it's on. I tried. Um, I need a weak ore that tracks that flame shock, but the problem is I'm not always going to be targeting that. Oops. The hell? I'm not always going to be targeting that guy, so the weak ore would have to be for my focus targets. My focus targets target. And there isn't a command. At least there wasn't. on multiple things anyways so okay so we should be set here um, new totems get used to cloud burst that's fine um, I'll raid this thing bloodlust is there drinks are there what else did I move I don't think I moved anything else Oh, my my own shield. Right. That's fine. Okay. I think we're set. I think we're ready. Yeah. 
Um, of course. Gotta make sure our transmog matches. Gotta look good. Oh, I need to prepare. I have plenty lucky dudes you like. Uh, do we have a key? I don't think we do. Yeah, we didn't run anything last week. What is this? This is plate? Plate. Belt. I think I already. I think my paladin already has a plate belt. We'll send it to him, anyways. Alright, so item level 105, which is 450 ish. I think. So what? Not what it used to be. Uh, so technically, we could do. We could probably do tens. Um, around there, but I really don't feel like doing anything too difficult right now. This is more just a test. So let's find something like a six. Yes. A five. Let's do something simple. Perfect. Five Ataltas are. Stop the recording here so I can split this up. See you in the next one.